We're going to take a, another look at consumption now. We're going to go ahead and say that uh, consumption really actually has two parts. Uh, before we assumed that only had one part and it didn't vary with income, in reality, actually, consumption has two parts. One is autonomous consumption, that is uh, things that people buy regardless of their income, necessities, um, you know, for example, maybe toothpaste or some items of food, they're going to buy no matter what. And then we also have another part of consumption called induced consumption, and that does vary with income. So graphically, uh, if anything is, does not vary with income, it would be right here at the y-intercept, C of A. And that's autonomous consumption. And then whatever consumption increases with levels of output occurs because of the induced consumption. Now this consumption line slopes upwards at a slope of B, which is the marginal propensity to consume. 